wanting to make a Pokemon cosplay for a long time and I wanted to start with something easy before I did go do something ridiculous. So I found a Mimikyu mask online. Then I went to the fabric store and found the closest matching fabric I could and um, we're gonna turn this into a poncho. Start by folding your fabric in half and then marking out where you want the neckline to be. Decide how long you want your poncho to be and then make marks around the edges so that you can measure to that length. Get a piece of paper and draw a point on it approximately eh, however long you want it to be. We're going to use this to trace patterns all the way around and make sure that we get the zigzag edge of the Mimikyu. I randomly made a triangle slightly larger than a 45 degree angle and it happened to fit perfectly. I am not sure how that happened. Next, you want to pin down each of your triangles so the fabric doesn't move and then cut along the edges. I cut exactly around the edges without leaving the seam allowance because I'm going to put bias tape on them instead of hemming. Then go back to the top and cut out a neck hole. So because this is a half circle and not a full circle, the fronts don't quite meet, right? And this always happens and I know how to fix it and I just don't for some reason every time I do this. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to readjust the top of these things and make these lines uh, slightly angled to match the curvature of the circle or the half circle in this particular case. Uh, but that can be done in hemming. So we'll do that when we hem and now we will move on to the hood. So when making the hood, it's important to remember that when you sew the two pieces of fabric together, you get a seam down the middle. So if you check any hood of like a sweater that you have, you will notice that there's a seam right down the center of it. And I don't want a seam down the center of this because ideally we're going to put like Mimikyu's eyes there and a seam in the middle would be kind of strange. So what we do instead is we're going to put this seam on the fold of the fabric. Uh, this means you have to like, you know, account for that when you make your hood and buy fabric because usually you can kind of use scraps and just find two squares to make a hood. Hoods are vaguely rectangular, square shaped. Um, but if you just, uh, you know, have a sweater lying around, you could use this as a hood pattern. So that's what we're gonna do. Lay down your hood to trace on top of your folded fabric and give yourself a few inches to work with so it's a little bit longer. I personally love giant hoods, but you can make it smaller if you want to. After you've drawn your hood in place, pin down the edges and then cut around the edges. And my hood drawn out and now we cut and sew. This time when you cut, leave some space because we're actually gonna hem this. The next step of sewing a costume is to first fix your sister's dress that she left on top of your sewing machine so you would fix it for her. Find the slits inside of the dress that your sister no longer wants to be there and sew them shut, making sure to backstitch the last inch or so at the end so they don't come apart. And then make sure you passive aggressively throw your sister's dress back onto the sewing machine so she can find it exactly where she left it. Then go back to sewing the hood together. This is just a rolled hem along the edges that are going to be the outsides of the hood. On the straight sides of the poncho, simply roll the hem in as you go and sew a hem. I've never really measured these, but they've always just turned out fine whichever way I happen to do them. As you sew your hem, make sure you back stitch at the start and the end of the seam so that it doesn't come undone. Pin the hood to the neckline of the poncho and sew them together, pleating the hood to make sure that they match. Then sew bias tape over the raw edges of the neck hole, making sure to fold your edges down. Next, we start on the bottom hem. Fold and sew bias tape around the bottom points of the poncho. For the inward facing points, you can pull the edges straight and then sew directly across. Then get your finger dexterity ready for the bottom points. The outward points are extremely difficult and it was really hard to shove my fingers around the bias tape that close to the sewing machine to get it where I wanted to go. I'm sure each of these came out differently and I missed the edges on quite a lot of the points, but you can just sew over all of those errors later. I ended up doing this by sewing down past the point, back stitching a bit, and then folding the bias tape back up around it. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I did not look it up beforehand. If you didn't measure like me, you'll probably run out of bias tape before you get to the edge of your poncho. So 
actually count the remaining points you have left and measure them to make sure that you buy enough bias tape that when you next go to the fabric store. Then head on back to the fabric store of your choice, find the bias tape that you bought previously, and go back to sewing down the rest of the points. Okay. So, Mimikyu's ears are very oddly shaped and need to be stuffed so they can stand upright. So, I have cut the shapes of Mimikyu's ears out of paper, this one goes the other way, and I'm just going to trace these onto two layers of the yellow fabric and then put a little bit of black felt on the tips. The setup for this actually ended up being really easy. Just trace them onto your patterns, add in the black felt like a little tiny sandwich, and pin your pieces together. Sew across the edges without closing it shut at the bottom. This went through my sewing machine without a problem at all, though there was some finagling to get around the details on the tips of both of the McHugh's ears. The biggest problem ended up being flipping them right sides out. The felt was just way too thick and I probably should have used a different fabric, but uh, after docking the edges a few times and getting out a variety of tools, I managed to get them the way they needed to be. Okay, ignore that. The last step is to make all of the decorations and add them onto the cloak for Mimikyu. Um, I have the ears done and just stuff them and attach them to the hood. We need to make swirlies for the eyes and we need to make the two ovals for the stomach head. I don't know what's going on. Um, so uh, in order to make sure those are the right size, I'm going to cut out some ovals just from a plain sheet of paper and make sure they're the right size. And then I'm going to cut them out of some black felt and sew them onto the cloak. Okay. So important stuff that I forgot about. Um, look at a picture of Mimikyu before you just start cutting out details because these are way too big. Um, we need to make them smaller. Once you've adjusted the size of the circle decorations, uh, just go ahead and sew them directly onto the fabric. This ended up not being a problem at all, except for I probably should have ironed my poncho before I started sewing. Find Mimikyu's ears laying around your desk, fold in the edges of the fabric, and sew them closed. We want the base to be a little bit flat so they'll stay upright on the top of our head, but any way you can do this will be fine. I also sewed almost everything with yellow thread, so you can see it on the black scraps of Mimikyu's ears. Just grab a black sharpie, color them in, no one will be able to tell. Then mark the place on the hood where the ears should attach to and sew around the edges. You want to make sure the outsides look clean, so make sure you grab the fabric on the bottom of the ears, but you can sew through to the inside of the hood any way you want to. For the swirly eyes, I just cut out some remaining strips of felt and drew approximately what Mimikyu's eyes looked like on the hood before tracing them with the felt and hot gluing them in place. There was a lot of finagling involved, so I just used a really tiny pair of scissors to make sure I got all of the details the way that I wanted them to look. Mm -hmm. 